Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. We're going to go ahead and get into the their feelings for you, their your self-care messages and their feelings for you for Virgo season for our water signs. Let's give it up for the water signs. If you are catching this on another platform, this is the um, intro that's going in with the first water sign, which is Cancer. Um, I'm going to get right into their message, but I just want to say, if you are watching this on other platforms, this video will be broken out for you. So you will hear me say that in the Cancer video, for example, that this is going to be for the water signs, but in actuality, this is going to be for Cancer sun moon rising and venus if you're catching it on youtube it is going to be time stamp if you're catching it on my other social media platforms it is going to be broken down by video by the actual zodiac sign okay let's go ahead and get started cancer with that being said um i'm gonna let you know that there is an individual in your life right now or this is your energy that's wanting to move forward and take action on a specific thing in your life or someone wants to say something um this is what is reflecting back at me now no matter how many times i have sat here and pre-shuffled your energy this ten of cups is at my it like it has been reflected back to me cancer pisces and scorpio all right we're gonna get into your self-care messages guys please be advised that every self-care message is now found in three places not one not two but three of course your self-care messages is going to be below in the description box for you and your collective um cancer um and water signs every zodiac the second place you're going to be able to find that um is going to be on the website it has its own um poster for you if you ever want to go back and see because they do resonate okay and lastly, um, you're now going to find those on Instagram if that is your jam, okay? What is re reflecting back at me? Please be patient with me. So this individual um, wants your patience. Let's get into your self-care messages. And it is pamper. Self-care is a necessity, cancer collective, and not a luxury. Remember that. Self-care is a part of your necessities of life we do have elevate you get what you believe you deserve cancerian it is time to raise your standards okay and finally we do have the card of action very very interesting baby steps are still steps and they are better than standing still someone has a specific message for you about your future with them they want you to know that they want you to be patient, but at the same time, they're planning on really taking action um, to your happiness or you guys being together in some type of way is what I am seeing. Now, of course, your self-care messages are your self-care messages. However, it kind of puts us in the headspace of letting us know where you are and what your focus is for that specific season okay so with that being said now that we have your self-care messages for this virgo season now the fun part let's go and see who you are crossing with cancer in leo season all right so we're going to start off with the card of pamper and you are crossing with a virgo actually sun moon rising and venus with this particular message you are also, and that is it. You're crossing with a Virgo. So how does a Virgo play a part in you pampering yourself? Or is this the energy of Virgo here for you? Okay. Next, we go into the card of Elevate. Okay. So who in Leo season got this exact same card? And it looks like Libra did. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So do you have Libra in your chart or are you connecting with a Libra? Um, there's time. It is time to elevate. We also have you crossing with a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So again, Cancer, what and how does a Pisces and or a Libra 
um, how do they play a role or play a part in you elevating for your self-worth? Do you have either one of these zodiac signs in your chart? Are you connecting with the Libra and or a Pisces? You know the answer to that. And finally, we have action. So in an energy of action, this is something that is a message all your own. It doesn't appear that you are crossing with anyone in this particular energy. So the question is, is what do you need to take action on? What do you, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to take action on? All right, that's what we have. Please understand that those messages will be in the three places that I had um, I mentioned for you. Let's go into their feelings for you. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hold on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set this up for you, Cancer. The first thing we're going to be looking at, um, well, the I'm going to call them out. So first, what are their current feelings for cancer? Okay. Second, what is their current view of cancer? Third, what actions will they take toward these feelings, if any? Finally, how do you feel about this situation? And lastly, we'll go into the overall message at the top of the deck that is reflecting back at me. What are their current feelings for cancer? Wow, they have a tremendous about, amount of willpower when it comes down to battling the demons, if there are any, to slaying the dragons. They may have cancer in their chart. You come out in your own reading, which means that I know that they feel like the chariot, that they want to scoop you up. We'll get into this a little bit more, but they, they want to take care of you and they feel like they can do it. What is their view of cancer? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is their view? All right, so we have too many cards right now. We're going to take all of them, Cancer. First, their view of you is someone who is mentally afraid. And I think that it could be because of what they've shown you. Their view of you is an individual who has walked, in, walked away from them and possibly... Um, stacked up those cups of love on the shelf and decided that you, it wasn't going to work. They have something that they have to show you. Something fell apart. And finally, they see you in hangman mode. They're, you're not taking action toward this love that you guys have for each other or toward this thing at all. You're just not taking action. You're just like, okay. Almost as if they feel like you're settling. Hmm. What actions will they take toward Is that, that emperor? That damn emperor came right back out. All right, so they have a specific thing that they have planned for you guys. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. How does Cancer feel about this? I love this. Wow, Cancer. How does Cancer feel about this? That's how you feel, the Page of Swords. And what is the top of the deck here? The Page of Pentacles. All right, I think we have enough. This person played games in the past, Cancer. They put you in a space where it was hard for you to believe what they were saying to you. Let's go ahead and get into their current feelings. The Chariot is a positive card. This is your major arcana, Cancer. Obviously, this individual feels for you. You have come up in their feelings. Um, they know that they can achieve victory. They know that they can use their will. They know that they can master their emotions, whether there are emotions from the past or negative um, emotions associated with reaching the goal and the victory is being with you. Um, yes, they're going to assort them, themselves, but it's not from an ego perspective. It's having faith in themselves and they really look at you um, as or look at this situation with you. And I feel like this is a twofold card because for the simple fact that it is your major arcana. So they know that they can be successful and have the life that they envision with you. Okay, again, how do they view you? We are looking at 
them looking at you as an individual who is trapped in their heads and will not allow them to leave. They look at you as an individual who is confused, who you restrict yourself maybe because you can't control the situation, um, that there are restrictions and you feel powerless. Maybe you feel that way because you want to control um, the situation or they feel like because of the circumstances that you have seen that um, you feel restricted and that you can't move forward with them because of what's going on in their life. Okay. We also have, I know that there has been a breakup with this eight of cups. Um, and I know that there is also a power struggle because we have two eights and you just keep going looping. You guys are going through some type of pattern. You're looping back and forth between being afraid and breaking up, being afraid, like, you know, like you take two steps forward, you come back. There is a cycle here. Um, Eight of Cups indicates, obviously, um, moving on for deeper meaning. You feel like what you need to accomplish, Cancer, you can't accomplish it with them. They view you as an individual who is restricted by the circumstances, and now you're moving on. You want to abandon the situation because you have no faith in it anymore. Um, and that is how they're viewing you as well as, hey, man, non-action is good action. Maybe you are enjoying the moment right now. They're looking at you that you and that you are in hey man mode. You have a decision to make, but now you're letting go. You've changed your minds. Um, maybe you felt that you were going to stick it out with them, um, and now you have decided um, that you just are going to give up. But the major arcana in there is that non-action is good action, and you're deciding not to move forward with this. Okay, whatever that is. Okay. What actions will they take? Well, they're coming in. Obviously, they're coming in with a shitload of willpower because their actions is the emperor. Their feelings is the chariot. They're not giving up on this cancer. They are not giving up. You can cancel Christmas and Thanksgiving with thinking that they are giving up because they are not. Okay. Um, they are here to stay. They're staying right here. Um, they're going to step up and do some things that maybe they have not done before. Um, and you're going to see a side of them that you probably haven't seen from them, Cancer. Um, but they are going to do something a little bit different in this emperor. Um, this could be a business owner. You obviously could be connecting with a fire sign. Major Arcana, obviously, for Aries. Um, let's go ahead and, and examine this emperor a little bit more. Um, his wife is the Empress. Um, obviously, so he wants to establish a family line with you. He wants to create structure. He wants to create order out of chaos, Cancer. This is his actions. This individual is going to take control of the situation um, and establish some new rules and some new guidelines between you guys. And it's going to be, when I say rules, I don't want to make it sound like it is a boardroom, but this individual knows that you've given up and they're going to be picking up your slack where you give up. They're going to be going harder for this situation. How do you feel? Well, you feel exactly the way that they say you feel. Um, you feel restricted. You feel like there's been nothing but BS. You feel like every single time you've tried to invest in this situation, there's been something that has knocked you off. You feel um, that there's been no, nothing but obstacle and obstacle and obstacle every, at every turn. Page of Swords brings those obstacles to you, um, no matter what, whether it's conversation, thoughts, anything, any plans you guys make, whatever. You feel like you can't win. And because of that, you are now in an energy where you have given up. You, you're just like, okay, well, we're not going to work. You know, my love is here for you, but you know, we're not going to work. So I'm just going to accept the fact that it's not going to work. And you could have been pushing an envelope cancer where you were trying, trying and trying, but you, you're just like, okay, well, you know what? Obviously because of these circumstances, it's not going to work. And they are not, they know that you feel this way. Um, wow. Um, there could be a child here, um, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius child. Um, both of you guys could have children. There are some things that, um, haven't been ironed out with the kids or there is a child's uh, mother or father of either of those children. Um, it could be male or female, although the page is a male, um, that also has caused additional, um, worry or concern in this situation. 
Um, however, the top of the deck is them, although they're going to be taking action. Um, and although they are going to be coming in um, at an emperor level and destroying all of the things that has stood in you guys' way, that has presented itself as an obstacle. Cancer, make no mistake that they're going to be taking baby steps. They want to come in and give you a page of pentacles. They want to give you a message. Anytime you receive any information with that is from a page of pentacles, that page is bringing you an opportunity for prosperity. This person is going to be coming in to give you commitment. This uh, individual is going to be establishing, reestablishing stability, trust, commitment, safety, material needs. This person wants to be there for you. This person wants to be everything that you originally envisioned between you two. And they're going to be stepping up in a major way. Let's go in with our five clarifiers. And first, we do have there was someone interfering in our relationship. Yes. And you know that. And it could have been that page of sorts. This is how you view them. This is how you feel. So you knew that there was someone that was interfering and you decided to walk away. Okay. What else? So for some of you guys, it was a someone. I am intimidated by you. That's going to be changing because now they're going to be stepping up into their emperor. Again, there was some specific actions that you took. But you're not going to be taking those anymore because you don't have to. I abandon people to make myself feel important. Absolutely. They know that that has been one. That's one of the reasons why you look at them right there. And if uh, out of that page of swords. And another thing is this is exactly what they were. They were the Knight of Wands. Um, as soon as things get out of control or someone starts to need them or expect, they just keep moving on to the next thing they're passionate about. But I want you to understand this is who they were and this is who they're becoming. So who they were was that Knight of Wands and who they're becoming and stepping into is their emperor, okay? Two fire signs, you could be connecting with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Cancer, okay? Too many. And I'm going to go ahead and take all of these and call it a day. The top of the deck is soulmate. Seven of them uh, fell out. I'm just going to take all of them. This person checks on you from afar. If you have not had any contact, they feel like they, they ruined everything because they did. I pulled away because I am overwhelmed at all of the things going on in my life. This person um, isolates themselves and they do have other things going on. And because of that, this is the reason why you pulled away. Um, as well. Now, remember, you look at them as that page. You look at them as that page and or things in this relationship being affected by all of the crap that comes along with that page of swords. And that's where you were with it. OK, now um, also, but they think the world of you. They knew that this was a one sided relationship, but you make them want to be a better person, Cancer. And that is where you are, okay? Um, they're going to be stepping up into that emperor. I love this for you. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I appreciate that. Cancer with my new... We have three major arcana before I get into that. We have chariot, okay? Your major arcana. We do have emperor. And then we do have hangman. These are your majors for Virgo season in this particular reading. I want you to know that if there's going to be any bonus content for you this month, it will be broken out for you. And I will see you in your next one, Cancer. It is always a pleasure. Bye, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome. This is going to be the self-care message and their feelings for you for the beautiful sign of Scorpio for this Virgo season. Let's go ahead, Scorpio, and get right into it. So your self-care message for Virgo season is surprise. Release your expectations, Scorps, and be open to surprise. Then we have space. The quality of your life has more to do 
with what you remove from your life than what you add to it, Scorpio. So you're being guided to give yourself the gift of space. This has something to do with your home. You obviously, because of the picture that's depicted of home, but of, of a home, obviously, or the inside of the frame of a house, um, you're going to be doing some removals. You're going to be getting rid of some individuals and opening yourself up to the surprise and the possibilities, okay? You're being guided to focus your attention on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you will enjoy the experience. You will enjoy an experience twice. So you're being guided to open yourself up to uh, things that you have never done before, Scorpio. So those are your messages. And just to remind you for Scorpio season, Scorpio season, for Virgo season, they are going to be in three places. Obviously, they're going to be below this video in the description. They are going to be listed on uh, MarvelousMadam.com um, on the September page, um, as well as going to be posted on Instagram, okay? Let's go ahead and go back to Leo season for a second and find out who you're crossing with in your Virgo season messages, okay? So first and foremost, um, Scorpio, um, for the, in the energy of surprise, okay? So at the end of the day, who are you crossing with? Surprise, surprise. It does not look like you, oh, yeah, you are with an Aries. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. How is an Aries affecting your ability to release your expectations and allow yourself to be open? Do you have an Aries in your chart? Are you connecting with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Only you know that, all right? Then we have space, okay? Space. Where are we with space this particular month? Um, and it looks like you, this is an energy all your own. So you're contemplating something. You're contemplating removing individuals um, or making room for individuals. You're you're contemplating um, giving yourself the space that you need. Maybe it is literal space or maybe it is metaphorically um, speaking of space, okay? And finally, you're opening up to some possibilities. And who are you, let's see, for Leo season for the energy of possibility? And it looks like these are all your own. I like to see it other than your surprise, um, you are in this by yourself. This is your energy. So again, I say with space and possibility, what are you opening yourself up to this month? This isn't, this is a self-care message, but it's a direct message. So who are you opening yourself up? What, what space are you making for a new possibility? Okay. That is what I am seeing for you, Scorpio, I love that surprise, space, and opportunity. So we're going to go ahead and get into their feelings for you. All right. Um, I want to let you know everything you need is below in the description box. I believe that you are trying to try on a different possibility. You're trying to try on something different. You're trying to go into a different mindset, okay? A different mindset, Scorp. Um, and I think that mindset has a lot to do with love. Love that maybe you once threw away. Um, romance um, that maybe didn't do you right, didn't represent you right, didn't do something correctly, um, where you had expectations and things were possibly out of balance with the Six of Pentacles. Um, maybe straddling the fence too much between have and have nots, will and won't not, can and can't nots. Um, straddling the, f the fence and maybe that's just too much. You're like, nope, I'm not doing this. I don't like this. So forth and so on. Um, it looks like and feels like there has been some things that have went on that has opened you up where maybe you've been abandoned or you have done the abandoning. Okay, those are some of your 
cards. Let's go ahead and get into their feelings for you. We're going to be taking a look at their current feelings, their current view of you, the actions that they're going to take toward those feelings, Scorpio, um, your feelings about the situation, and the overall message. This is for Scorpio, so I'm on Rise and Venus. This is for Scorpio, their current feelings, their heartbroken. All right, well... Um, we'll get into this. So it's interesting about that. I abandon people, um, line. They are heartbroken alone. What is their current view? Their view of you is in an ace of swords. Um, if they're not viewing you this way, they're opening themselves up to a new truth as it pertains to you. This is for Scorpio, so I'm on rising in Venus. Their actions, um, is in a 10 of wands. Okay, Scorps. All right, so there obviously is some things that have went on, all right? How does Scorpio feel about this situation? You feel, wow, so we have a queen of swords. So you've been looking at <coughs> what you perceive as a truth about a situation, and it looks like you've been cutting people off. Your self-care messages is all about opening up things and opening up like releasing your expectations and being open up to open to surprise okay all right i'm starting to see that okay wow overall energy at the top of the deck i'm sorry this is wait feelings view actions feelings of course overall <laughs> like where am i you guys got a lot of thinking to do you got a whole lot of thinking that you have to do right now. You guys are possibly not speaking. Let's get into their feelings. They are heartbroken. They're heartbroken, Scorpio, um, about some things that have went on between you two. Three swords here. It could indicate third-party energy. This is loneliness, heartbreak, and betrayal. They feel like you, you guys are in some type of separation mode. Um, yes, Um this is, um, it's a sudden pain. It feels like, obviously, that there has been a sharp object that has been jabbed through the heart. Um, it feels like this could be surrounded around what has been said, maybe a snippy remark. Um, it feels like nasty little curveballs between you guys um, that could, um, obviously... Um, talk about um, abandonment, betrayal, rejection, separation. Um, these things are hurtful. There's been some things between you guys that has been hurtful. Um, and that's how they feel. Their view of you is obviously in an ace of swords. They have just come into a newfound perspective as it pertains to not only the situation, but the truth of what they perceive you are. Um, they're walking into their own justice. They're, they've given themselves closure. They've overcome the problems. They're stronger now. They are, um, you know, they want right and wrong, but now they're cutting through all the confusion that that heartbreak has caused. And right now, um, this is, um, it's a seed that has been planted, an understanding um, and, um, I want to say also, um, with this particular card, um, it could be, um, um, a compelling idea about this heartbreak. I'm telling you when it comes down to these two cards, yes, they are heartbreaking, uh, heartbreaking, heartbroken, but, um, a lot of things that I'm feeling with these two together, um, is now they've done the inner work. They've done the work to, um, overcome all of the obstacles and they found truth in the situation with you that can be good or bad they found truth in that heartbreak and now that they have um um looked at that truth another way scorpio um they are no longer um necessarily looking at you the same from after this okay um what actions will they take well they're trying to completely continue to um burden and foster those burdens and 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 shoulder shoulder the burdens of loving you. This lets me know that although they have come into a new truth, an awareness about the three swords um, and the heartbreak and betrayal and loneliness that they feel at the same time, they still carry the burden of loving you. 
Um, it's still a burden. It's still a struggle. They struggle with this. They have to work every single day to maintain um, carrying those burdens of loving you. Um, and right now they're going to continue to do this until uh, carrying these 10 heavy poles um, until he can't do it anymore, until they can't do it anymore. And hopefully this will turn into an ace of wands um, once they fight this uphill battle of loving you. And then after that, um, you know, there will be a, a reset. OK, they already went into it mentally. Now they just need to have their their actions in their mental lineup. OK, their heart and their head has to be on the same page. OK, now, how do you feel about the situation? Well, you um, feel like this was the truth. This was the best thing to do. You have cut out the bullshit. You feel like that's it. I've cut this out. I am the queen of swords. I don't like lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits. F that. I'm done. This is me being um, honest. Um, I sized up this situation. Um, um, I know when people are trying to uh, be on some BS with me, um, and I'm not going to take that. I don't like the tricks. You can't fool me. This is how you are feeling about this. You're feeling like this situation happened because it was supposed to happen. However, I don't know. I don't know about this. When I look at the, the top of the deck, we're looking at a four of swords. So the overall energy between the both of you guys is that you guys are quietly contemplating. You haven't forgot about one another. You haven't forgot about this situation. You are possibly in some type of separation. Um, but four swords are here. Four swords talks about rest and quiet contemplation. You both took a break from one another you're consolidating your inner resources. You you know, you're trying to get ready for what the future holds and tying up your loose ends. Scorpio, as it pertains to you, you are in the energy of releasing the expectations and, and removing things from your life that no longer serve you um, and looking at the possibilities of other things. I don't know whether this um, is a reconciliation or whether you will be... Um, also looking at the situation differently, but that's kind of where um, you both are right now. So something definitely took place. We're going to go in with five clarifiers right now and take a look at what the hell um, that could be. I find you incredibly attractive. There is still a uh, attraction here between you guys. I dive in and out of relationships. That could be some of the reason why um, this three swords are here, the third party energy, because there's been diving in and out of relationships that could possibly be one of the reasons why this fell apart. What else do we have here, Scorpio? Show me spirit. We have, I gave in to temptation. Aha. Uh -huh. They gave in to temptation and broke your heart. Um, and again, these clarifiers could clarify your side, their side, or just be a message from spirit. So we have confirmed that that third party, um, that that uh, three of swords was a third party situation. We've confirmed that. OK, we also have that this is the end that came out. That's the fourth one. And what else do we have here? All right. We have too many that has come out, so I'm going to take all of these. We have five that came out. So I want you to know that this um, individual, this is either how they feel about you, how you feel about them, but one of you guys thinks the world of each other. There were fights, arguments, and conflict here, okay? Um, but one of you guys wants this situation to work out. Um Spirit is saying that destiny is taking you guys down different paths. And finally, I feel like I can't give you what you need. So that is what I am seeing here. Now, Scorpio, you have no major arcana in your reading. Um, that lets me know that this situation can turn at any time. Um, it does not necessarily um, have to remain the way that it has come out. You definitely are connecting with air, um, a air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There was a lot 
of air energy in your reading today. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Scorpio, it is always a pleasure. I will see you in your next video. Bye, guys. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your Virgo season 2022. This is going to be the self-care messages for you in this season as well as their feelings for you for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello. So let's go ahead, Pisces, and get right into your self-care messages for this season. And first, you have friend. Be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. Pisces, this is a common thing for you. You um, are extremely empathetic and can see all sides of a situation for everyone else except for yourself. So you're being guided to uh, be as good as a friend as you are to others, to yourself. Also, needs. Do you need more time to yourself? A break from thinking too much, a kind encounter with that friend. Your needs matter, and it's time to honor them. So again, this is surrounded around a theme of what you give others versus what you give yourself. And then finally, we do have Elevate. You get what you believe you deserve, Pisces. You're being guided that it is time to raise your standards, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the self-care messages from last season. Um, and what we do here is we figure out who you are crossing with, okay? So let's find out who you're crossing with from this season, Virgo season, to last season, which is Leo season, okay? And where did the website go? That is so strange. Give me one second. All right, Pisces, for the card of friend, you are crossing with from last season, it looks like not anyone. So this is a message that's all your own. And again, the guidance here is about being good to yourself, um, just, as, just as you are to others, okay? The card of needs. Who are you crossing with from last season to this season? And it doesn't look like you are crossing with anyone. That's interesting, Pisces. That's awesome. Um, so needs is all your own as well. And then the card of elevate. It looks like you do have a couple, well, at least one cross. And that is Libra. So how is a Libra sun, moon, rising, or Venus? Um, oh, you're actually crossing with yourself. You got elevate last month as well. So how is a Libra... Standing in a way of you elevating um, to get what you deserve. Do you have Libra in your chart? Also, you're crossing with yourself. You got this in the same position last month. Um, there is a first, second, and third position. So you did get elevate in third position. What exactly from one month into the next is constantly coming back into your life? And it's coming up for review. What and why... Um, are you not raising your standards so you can elevate um, from um, out of the energy that you're in right now, Pisces? That has been your self-care message. Let's go ahead and get into what they are, um, how they feel about you. Um, the first card, first, let's talk about, um, before we go there, let's talk about what's reflected back at me from the pre-shuffle. So the world is here which kind of goes in line with that elevate energy because it's time to get out of this sacredy mentality and way of thinking and elevate to a higher level. Um, it's really time to come out of that energy. Um, we also have an energy of I miss you. So it seems to be that there is um, a separation here. When I was doing a pre-shuffle, that Three of Swords did come out a lot. Um, and I kept looking down at it like, what exactly do you want to say? Some of you guys are feeling heartbroken um, right now um, as a separate story. Let's go ahead and get into um, their feelings. And this is, we're going to be taking a look at their current feelings that came out. We're going to be taking a look at their current view of you. We're going to be taking a look at what actions they will take, if any, toward these feelings. Um, your feelings about the situation, and then we will get an overall energy. At the end of that, we will be tying everything together um, in a um, with five clarifiers or whatever come out comes out. Those clarifiers could clarify their side, your side, or could be a message from spirit. All right, what is their view of Pisces? This is for Pisces. 
we do have a nine of pentacles. Their current feelings did come in as the page of wands. All right. What actions will they take toward these feelings, if any? This is for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is for Pisces. We got a whole lot. I'm going to take it. The actions is a uh, king of swords. The actions is an ace of wands. The actions is a page of pentacles. And an action is a six of wands. So let's go ahead and, and roll with those. All right. And what is Pisces feelings? They have a lot to do. They want to do a whole lot. Your feelings about the situation is right there with that five of pentacles. And then the overall energy is a four of pentacles. So there is a lot of emphasis on money. Um, there's a lot of things between you guys that are not balanced right now, Pisces Collective. Let's get into their feelings. So right now they're enthusiastic. They want to come back with this conversations. They want to come back with um, communication that is very sweet um, very creative, very courageous. Um, they're very charming. Um, this is messages that bring opportunity for passion. They want to reignite things between you guys. This is about creativity and courage and charm, um, exciting new opportunities. It may be, it may be exciting to you. You may feel like you want to jump on that. Okay. However, their current view of you right now is an individual who is trying to attain some type of financial security um, or relish in um, being by yourself right now. You could be, although they're coming in with this exciting new um, charm and, you know, originality and being courageous and telling you how they feel and showering, with you, showering you with all of these um compliments you're just like right now you're focused on attaining on uh, achieving on being the single lady or being the single man um and surrounding yourself around all of those things that have brought you what you deem as secure okay now they're going to be taking a variety of actions okay so first of all the very first thing is is they're going to be coming to you and hitting you with logic their actions now is to bring clear, concise communication to you very logically, cutting through the bullshit and really talking to you in a way that you may feel like you don't understand because it will be logic based. OK, um, but it will be real talk. OK, they're also going to be talking to you um, about reconciliation in that Ace of Wands. They already are telling you how they feel about you passionately, but they're going to be coming to you in that Ace of Wands energy um, and through the page and telling you, Pisces, how they feel, what they want to do, and how they want a brand new passionate beginning with you. They're going to be discussing your problems very logically, okay? In addition to that, they're going to be bringing you a commitment when this page is in the mix or again. We talked about creativity, courage, charm, and, and inspiration and all of these things to feed your ego and make you feel fantastic, Pisces. However, they're going to be coming to you also with a page of pentacles. And this page gives you an opportunity for wealth, abundance, and security, and achievement, and commitment. This is what they want to bring. So they're going to bring, they're going to be very fucking enthusiastic about bringing these, these energies to you as well. And finally... They're going to tell you that you guys can be successful with the Six of Wands. You guys can be that power couple. They're going to push you out. They want to push this relationship out in the forefront. They, Okay. They want people to see. Um, they want to bring you in from the cold because I see that's how you're feeling and really put us us, this information, us, and you know, they're feeling, I want to push us out there. Okay. They have a lot of ambition. Um, none of this is about love. Okay. But they do, um, want to reconcile with you. They're very enthusiastic about it. Okay. And they're serious about giving you commitment, but they know that they want to take baby steps because they know that they have to convince you how you feel about the situation is feeling very left out in the cold right now. Money is an issue for you. I don't know whether you feel like um, you obviously can be dealing with a variety of things. First of all, if you are in 
an energy of a um, five of pentacles. Um, you're experiencing some hard times right now. You you feel like they've rejected you. Um, you can be definitely having um, um, situations with um, um, losing money. So um, you could be dealing with material and, and economic setbacks. Um, you could be dealing with la uh, um, a feeling a lack of acceptance. You could be, you know, cold, hungry, tired, sick, poor, whatever you are um, hurting. You're suffering right now. So um, that is where we are. You're suffering. And at the top of the deck, there is an energy between you guys of no one wants to look at the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture here? Both of you guys are stubborn. Both of you guys are not moving. What is the bigger picture, Pisces? So if you're feeling left out in the cold and they, they're looking at you as an individual who has the pinnacle, who wants to achieve and attain and has all of the of, of, of um that has all of the comforts of home and everything to his or her heart desire, but how you're actually feeling on the inside is you don't have that. So the question is, is why do they think that? A lot of the times with this reading, I love it because how they view you and what you're actually going through. If they don't match, then that means that at some point, uh, way, shape, form or fashion, you're just as uh, um, just as responsible for getting them to see the real rather than them believing the lie. Um, and, and it could. And when I'm looking at this energy at the top of the deck, you don't want to be honest about it. In this four of pentacles, you want to hold on to every dime and continue to pretend like you're acting in a nine of swords. I'm sorry, a nine of pentacles, but in actuality, you're four pentacles short. And these are those pentacles. These are the ones. The fact that you um, are not opening yourself up to possibility, Elevating your needs, making yourself important. You don't know your self-worth. This is what you, you get what you believe you deserve. And that's the reason why your self-care messages are here telling you that you need to elevate. But let's talk about four, four pentacles for a sec. Four pentacles indicates that there's a block that you possess of. You, you don't, you don't want to, you want to control. You want to be in charge. You don't want to deny weakness. I mean, you don't want to uh, say that you're weak and that, you're, and that you're struggling with something. So this is what your mentality is and what you're doing. This is how they see you, an individual who is confident, who is ex experiencing their nine pinnacles, their luxury, um, and they've attained this. They work hard. But in actuality, you feel like this. You are going through some financial issues. And here it is, this individual wants to reconcile with you and make you feel great. And you're not allowing this to come in because you're too busy holding on to those four pentacles. All right, let's get into this. So you're punishing yourself. And as a result, you're probably punishing them. Maybe you need a friend right now. Um, again, take it as it resonates. But this is what we are seeing here. Give me my clarifiers, please. We have you make me want to be a better person. These can uh, resonate with you on their side, your side, or this could talk about messages from spirit. This was just the fling. So if this was just the fling, somebody wants to take this fling to the next damn level. Um, and that that was just the fling mentality could be these four pinnacles that you're holding on to. Because you really lack the security. Um, they want to keep it fun. They want to actually offer you a commitment again. Um, and they're coming in and they see success with you. But you don't believe in yourself. Let alone believe in um, this relationship. There is an incredible attraction. They find you incredibly att attractive. That's the reason why the Ace of Wands is there. Um, they love um, your love making. They love being intimate with you, Pisces. Um, but there's something that you're not saying. And then we have, I don't know what I want. Yeah, you're holding on to these pentacles. Um, they are too. But I feel their energy kind of supersedes yours because they have a lot of, of, of new beginnings in their energy. So um, this could have been where they were. And this could be a little bit of where they still are. But I feel like that that four of pentacles is for you specifically. And you are the love of my life. Well, it's obvious that they want to come in. They want to give you the truth. They want to look at things very logically. 
cut through all of the BS of the previous information and things that you guys have done um, and really get back to the, the, the what's important, which is you two. Um, the top of the deck is friends or family disapprove of this connection. Some of you guys do have some energy where family does not approve. Um, your person, whoever this is, they don't give a hell anymore. If there were someone in, in, in their energy that didn't give a hell, they're looking at the situation from a six of wands. They don't give a hell who has an issue with this situation. Pisces, you have no major arcana in your energy. Um, but this person obviously does feel for you a great deal. And it's going to come through with very passionate and beautiful communication, offering you a commitment, seeing the success with you, and bringing the truth of their feelings and everything else very logically, but telling you uh, they're going to they're, they're gonna cut through confusion. There's going to be no need to be confused. So if there is confusion after they express themselves, then that confusion lies within yourself. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe Pisces. It is always a pleasure to read your energy, and I will see you in your next video. Bye, guys.